how can you present your company's information to your customer in the right way where it takes them along the path of visiting your website to a customer for your business. Hey everyone, Mark Slavin here from Click Media Marketing. Today, I just want to talk a little about how important it is to understand your customer when you're building your website. So to do that, we're going to look at two websites we've developed in the past, uh, one for Dynarod and one for Sigma Homes. So if we jump into the screen here, I just want to show you uh, how we want to make it extremely easy for the customer to find the information they're looking for. So in the case of Dynarod, you need Dynarod, you need them quickly because you've got a problem with your drains. So we want to put the, the most common problems people were having with their drains right at the top of the page make it extremely easy for them to find the phone number or make it extremely easy for them to book online. So it was about understanding that when you're in the situation where you need Dynarod, chances are you probably need them right now. And if we look on mobile, how we handle that, which is where most people will be looking, we just wanted a really big, clear click to call button right at the top of that page. So that when somebody needed Dynarod, they could press that button straight away and get onto them as quickly as possible. So in their case, we, we had to understand that it's a service that you're gonna need right away, and we need to make it as plain, simple, and easy as possible for, for you to get in touch with them. So if we look at our other client here, Sigma Homes, this is very different. This isn't the service you're going to, you know, make a call today and start work tomorrow. This is, you're gonna have a long lead time, you're going to be researching different companies, um, so in the case of, the, of, the, of Sigma Homes, what we really wanted to do was to showcase the photography, showcase the work that um, they've done. Because in the research process for this, what's really going to be the big selling point is the, the portfolio, the portfolio of work that the, the client had done. So on desktop, we made that beautiful photo basically stand out um, and then made it really easy for people to get right to that portfolio of work. And then once you jump into that portfolio, make it really, really easy to see all those beautiful photos and to jump into any specific project. And again, within the projects, those photos are the main uh, selling point of the projects, if you will. They're, they're the things that really stand out. Um, so rather than in this case, you, you don't want to be particularly wordy. You want the photos to do the talking. Whereas with, with the diner outside, we want it to be extremely uh, quick and easy to get the information you want and get in touch with them. Um, and if you look at the Sigma Homes one on mobile, again, it's about making those photos the, the hero of the website, basically. Um, so it's just today, I just wanted to get through that it is extremely important to understand that mindset of your customer, that when you are building your site, you need to build it in, my, in, their, in the, the mindset of, okay, is my customer going to spend a long time on my site? Are they going to be looking for written content? Are they going to be looking for imagery? Are they simply going to be looking for um, the information on the business, the call details? So how can you present your company's information to your customer in the right way where it takes them along the path of visiting your website to a customer for your business.